How has the distribution of illegal substances affected your day-to-day -day life at Shawnee Mission East? I'd say, if anything, it's probably the most distract. It's just more distracting. It hasn't caused me physical harm, but I mean, I'm constantly seeing SRO officers entering and exiting the classroom. I've even seen a student handcuffed once. I mean, it's pretty rough. I mean, it's, it's serious stuff. Have you ever seen any of these drug deals? in the hallways of Shawnee Mission East. Oh, I've, I've seen a lot of drug deals here at East. I mean, the majority of them taking place in the third floor at the bottom of the stairwell. I mean, there's always a lot of action there. So, I mean, we could probably do something about it, but I don't know what steps to take. To say there was one main culprit of this underground drug ring, who would you say it was? I mean, honestly, that's a pretty obvious question. I mean, if you've seen the tags they've been throwing up on the bathroom walls, it's the PV Bloods. You can't get in. 